Today, we will discuss about a critical concept in the world of finance, that is, the time value of money. It's widely used, but not easily understood. So let's crack it with this small tutorial. Now, what is the underlying idea anyway behind the time value of money? The underlying idea is that money changes value with time. Let's look at this pictorial representation, right? Now, here we see that, let's say if you're investing 100 rupees today and it's earning interest, then it's changing value with time. We see that if I look at the 100 rupees today and I look at it three years later, the value is different. And that is because, of course, the 100 rupees is earning interest. Because of that, money has a time value. It changes value with time. The two critical topics under time value of money are future value and present value. If we have a strong understanding of these two, then the derived concepts NPV and IRR will become easy. We'll explain these two later. So on to future value. Now, I'd like to explain that with an example, that is explain future value with an example. Now, let us say that uh, we invest 10,000 rupees today, which I'm calling year zero uh, at say 8% per annum. Now, we run 8% on 10,000 in the first year. That is of course 800. What about the second year? Well, the second year, also, we earn 800 on 10,000. Are we missing something? Yes, we are also earning 8% on the interest we earned in the first year. So, 8% 8 of 800, that is 64 rupees, is the interest earned on previous interest, a process called compounding. And therefore, in the second year, we are earning interest of 864. I'm using the Excel auto sum function and we see that the final uh, amount earned after two years or which are 10,000 rupees has turned into after two years is 11,664. Now this is the future value of today's 10,000. We see that this value, the future value, depends on two things. One, at what point of time are we calculating the future value? That is, it depends on the point of time where we are calculating the future value or t. It also depends on the rate of interest that our today's value is earning or r. So the future value depends on r and t. But to put a quick definition around future value, it is the amount that today's value turns into at some at a defined point of time in the future, right? That is our future value. Is there a formula which you can use to calculate future value? Sure, there is. So future value or FV for short is today's value or the principal into one plus r. Now r you have to express as a percentage or as 8 by 100 that is either as 0 0.08 or 8 by 100. Keep that in mind right. So 1 plus r I'll just put it since we're putting down a formula is 1 plus r and this raised to t. So that's your formula um, and um, It looks very similar to the formula for compounding and it is because future value is arrived at after calculating compound interest. Uh, if we go back to our courseware, we will see here the same example has been explained. Our original investment was 10,000 and after earning interest for two years, we have the future value 11,664. 
future value is the amount today's money turns into at a point of time in the future of course assuming a certain rate of return uh, as mentioned this is our future value formula future value equals today's value or the present value into 1 plus r raised to t now one thing which is very important in all these time value calculations is make sure that your r and t are in the same units what does that mean if we are looking at an annual interest rate we need to look at a yearly time period if you're looking at a quarterly interest rate it has to be uh, a quarterly time period be careful about that how do you realize that you realize that by the frequency of compounding uh, if the compounding is happening annually or six monthly or quarterly you need to adjust your r and t accordingly and make sure i'm repeating this that your r and t are in the same units if t is in quarters r is a quarterly rate if t is in six months then um, r is a six monthly rate and so on so knowing this let's try another example uh, so you're told that you have invested 50,000 rupees in a fixed deposit which is getting compounded quarterly it is paying you nine percent per annum and uh, how much will you have after three years right so three years uh, quarterly compounding uh, is the information that you have been given uh, now with this therefore it is obvious that if we have to uh, what we've been asked for is the future value i'm just formatting this bear with me uh, now therefore what's our r is it nine percent no it's not because we have uh, been given that the um, that the principal is being compounded quarterly so we need to take a quarterly interest rate so i'm just going to take this and divide it by four to get my quarterly rate and what is t three years nope it's not three years it's 12 quarters and therefore let's apply the formula we get this value into right one plus your r okay raised to and bingo you have the answer 65302 rupees 50 paise is the future value of of the rupees 50,000 invested today. It is the future value three years from now, assuming a 9% uh, rate of return with quarterly compounding. That should help you understand what future value is and how it is calculated. Thank you.